stop. Step forward. And if you see the reverse, then you just walk a step back. So see the stepping forward with this foot, or the stepping back with the other one in order to turn to hip. So I can put my hips and shoulders in the strike at the back of his head. Excuse me. Question? Yeah. Where, where am I looking for the strike? Back of his neck. Right here? Yeah. Here, well, two point, I'll give you two points. There's more than two, but at least two. Back here or kidneys. Back here or kidneys. Depends on the size of the opponent. Can you lock his arm up when you come around? Yeah. You can do all kinds of things. You can insert this over the top as you hit. Stand still. Stick your arm out as if you'd punched on the left side. So block, strike, insert, catch. There's a hit. Stick your arm out. Arm bar. Strike, grab the hand, come back the other way. Outside wrist lock. You can sit down, strike. Out here, sit. But the key to all of this, especially since both of these guys, all three of us are taller than you are, is that when you're fighting a guy who's bigger than you are, hip him. Okay, hip him, either thigh or hip, bump him, hip him, so that you're in here. You're really in here. You're really in here on the guy. Instead of standing six or eight inches away working on a guy who's taller than you are and maybe bigger than you are. I mean, stockier as well as taller. 